When it comes to choosing which protein source you should use, whether it be protein powder or whether it be Greek yogurt, today's video, I'm gonna break down the differences between the two and which one I would recommend over the other. Now, the first thing we need you to do is go and hit that like button. Go ahead, hit that like button. First, where did they come from? Well, Greek yogurt, it's like regular yogurt, but it's strained to be thicker and to have more protein. Whereas protein isolate, well, this is powdered protein, usually from things like milk, where you get the whey, the curds in the whey, or soy or plants. So what do they do is that they strip away the carbs and they strip away the fats as much as they can so that it's a pure isolate powder. Now what's inside? Well, Greek yogurt, besides its protein, you can get things like calcium, probiotics, and a bit of fat, but it just depends on the type. When it comes to protein isolate, well, it's a pure protein. And so there's very minimal carbs and fats. You're still gonna get all the amino acids, but you're gonna get the amino acids in both. It's really for those that are looking to hit their protein goal for the day. So if you're in a belly burn challenge, you know exactly what I'm talking about, is if you have 30 more grams of protein to hit before night's end, and you need something that is almost 100% pure protein, then a protein shake would be the thing that you wanna to go to. Whereas usually the Greek yogurts, even if they're 0%, have a little bit more carbs and they usually have a little bit of fat in them. So to hit your exact number, protein powder would be ideal. Now, how do they feel and taste? Well, Greek yogurt is generally thick and tangy. To me, it's more like a meal, whereas protein powder, it's a liquid shake. And it has different types of taste depending on the protein source and the added flavors that that individual protein company decided to add. Now, what can you do with them? Well, Greek yogurt, you could literally eat it solo. You can put it in smoothies or you can use it a base for all types of dishes. You can actually use it as a sandwich spread, but it's obviously not gonna taste the same as mayo, but it's gonna give you the same texture as it would in mayo. Now, when it comes to protein powder, well, it's mainly a shake. Right? So it's gonna be more like a drink. You can put it into smoothies. People bake with it all the time, or you can beef it up in multiple different types of protein recipes. You can actually combine the two, where you take the Greek yogurt, which generally is that tangy, but kind of plain tasting, so you can have texture, and then you can add protein powder on top, so now you're adding a little bit more flavoring and you're doubling up the protein. Now here's a little quick tip is people say, well, your body can really only absorb 20 to 30 grams of protein at any sitting, so all that extra protein that I'm eating is just gonna go to waste. Well, that's wrong, okay? Now, if you're in a caloric deficit, and if your body requires protein for the day or the week, or depending on how you've been tracking your food, then your body is going to use what it has to use. So if your body requires more protein, then it's going to use the eyes that protein regardless of how much protein you're putting in at once. What happens to the rest of it? Yeah, some of it could get stored, some of it could you know, go to waste, but ultimately, if that's what you wanna eat, then I would say just go ahead and eat it. Now, what's in the mix? Well, Greek yogurt, besides protein, there are some variety in carbs and fats, but there's also a lot of different types of calcium and minerals that are in there. Whereas protein is just all about keeping the carbs and fats low, focusing more on the protein hit. So what's the difference between the two or which one do I prefer? I personally prefer protein powder. I would rather drink my calories than eat my calories. The reason why I'd rather drink my calories than eat my calories is because my day is so busy, okay? Literally, I'll go from coaching to playing tennis to shooting one of these videos with you to jumping into meetings. And so for me to sit down and eat a massive meal is literally going to put me to sleep. Whereas I'm more like, like dessert style stuff, right? If I can just eat snacks and desserts all day and hit my protein goals and be ripped and not be sore, then I would rather do that. And that's kind of what I do with my food. And so for me to do a double protein shake with a Nary bar, which is gonna give me about 450 calories versus doing Greek yogurt, with some blueberries and chia seeds, like that meal actually is not for me. The texture just doesn't work. But to sit there and eat that food and to spend the time eating that food, I don't enjoy it as much as I would just to have a shake 
and ch ch chomp on a bar and just like get my macros over. I'm very macro based and I'll get my vitamins and minerals from my Vita stack. But ultimately this method has been working for me and it works a lot for our other belly burners. So between Greek yogurt, which I think is great as an additive, things like a beef taco mix, or you can use it on your sandwiches so that the sandwich isn't so dry. I think that's when there's a good role for it. But a lot of people like to mix in chia seeds and make it a meal. For me, I'm okay with being my stomach tank not being completely full because if there's more, more liquids in there than adding more bulk in food, but that's just my personal preference. So what I want to know in the comments, do you prefer Greek yogurt or do you prefer having a protein shake when it comes to hitting your protein goals? Make sure that you guys hit the like button and if you're looking to get started with your workout routine, then go to our website www.fitclub.fit, send me a message, mention the five days or if you're really looking to step up your nutrition, need more accountability, a little bit more of a push, then the belly burn challenge is around the corner. So just send us an email and mention the belly burn.